And tonight, a very special Sunday night baseball game. And tonight, it is the New York Yankees against the Detroit Tigers. This is the place when I was a little kid, like, man, I want you wanted to be in the Little League World Series. I'm excited for our guys to get to see it that have never seen it. It's a lot of fun. AJ Hinch, manager of the Tigers, what's this scene like here in Williamsport? It's pretty overwhelming. The energy's incredible. Our players are all, uh, thrilled to be here. Yeah, I mean, what a humbling experience to be full circle. You know, I used to be in one of these jerseys doing the same thing, and now I get to bring joy to the kids. We, we enjoyed this game, and, and, and you know, we, we learn a lot from it. Around this age is, is when you really have fun, you know, when, when you only worry about competing and, and, and winning and, and just having fun. Seeing the kids from all over the world is just great. It's just great to see those guys having fun and enjoy the time when, while we, we, we're here. I already made, made a couple few best friends just from the airport ride to here. So, I mean, I just can't wait. It's awesome being here, you know, being able to spend some time with them. You know, I was, I was these kids not too long ago, so, you know, it's awesome to be here and spend some time here. You know, this is pretty cool. I always wanted to get a chance to play here, never did, but uh, we're going to have some fun memories here tonight. And a very good evening, everybody, and welcome <laughs> to Williamsport. This is really something. What they're doing in front of there, there is one kid from every team, and they're lined up from center field, and that's going to be the first pitch. I don't even have to be told what's going to happen. They're all going to do it, and then there's a, a kid back here uh, near, near home plate, and that's how they're going to do a first pitch. There's one kid from every team all the way lined up. This is really something. Can we come back? here next year this is just this is just amazing well we do have a game to play and it is the yankees and the tigers but let's get to the guy on the mound for the detroit tigers a special pitcher having an incredible year two up two down and here comes judge the 0-2 swing and a miss he got him with the beauty of a change Judge strikes out in a one, two, three, fours for Tarek Skubal. And it's a Marcus Stroman night for the Yankees. Yeah, Marcus Stroman's gonna try to do it with Kraft. Smoke and mirrors on the edges. Driven to the left center field, chases Dominguez back on the run in front of the track, makes a one-hand catch. There's a Martian back in the big leagues, one away. Here's Matt Veerling, righty hitter, two out, nobody on, home half of the first inning. Veerling pops it to the center field, easy for Judge. Three steps to his right. Makes a one-hand catch, and Scooble, Stroman, they trade one, two, three innings in the first. But because this is all about the kids, we, of course, present a kids cast. I'm here with Jazz Chisholm. You've been all around with the kids today with the Little Leaguers. I saw you have the digital camera on the bus. You were the kids from Mountain. What has that experience been like for you? I mean, it's been a great experience. Uh, been having fun with the kids all day, enjoying the day, and I feel like that's what it's about, just having fun every day and enjoying what you're doing. And Giancarlo Stanton reaches with a single. Now Jason Dominguez, the left fielder, just called up. Call strike three, Jason Dominguez. He got schooled. Second strikeout, both caught looking. And brings up Anthony Volpe. 3-2, swing and a miss. He got him up in the strike zone. Volpe strikes out. Terry Scoobal has to work hard, but the changeup gets Volpe for his third strikeout. Matt Beerling is out there in left field. Actually comfortable here. He has played for these cross cutters. Uh, years ago, you were here for about nine minutes. You had a great run here. But now you're back, and you're watching the ground ball. The short fumble, bumble, get up, and throw in. DJ is out. Any fond memories coming back, Matt? Oh, yeah. I mean, not much has changed, to be completely honest with you. Um, Obviously, when I was here, they started doing the uh, Little League game about a year before, so the surface was always beautiful, but the locker room and everything is the uh, exact same, so exactly how I remember it. Um, yeah, I mean, I loved it back in 12 through 14. It was uh, one of the best times of my life, just being able to play baseball and have fun, so it's cool. 2-2 Two -two pitch here, and that one is lifted towards the line and left. There you go. What a play by Matt man. Fearling. Not a lot of room out there. Nice catch, oh, Matt. Oh, man. Yeah, I thought since I'd be mic'd up, the ball's got to find me, right? It did, <laughs> and you found it. Great play. Yeah. Thanks, man. She's out in right field, and Juan now wearing a microphone and an earpiece. Juan, how would you describe the experience today relative to what you thought it was going to be? Uh, it was really cool today. Um, we got here early, go try to watch a little bit of the game they have today. It was really cool. Um, actually, everything that I saw on TV, I saw it today. <laughs> First time a runner has reached second, Stroman dealing with Riley Green. And that's on the ground. That's LeMahieu. And that will do it for the inning. Hey, uh, Juan, muchas gracias. Thank you, Juan. Thomas and I again are joined 
We have a very special guest up in the booth, Nestor Cortez, starting pitcher for the New York Yankees. Here's a picture of oh, you yeah. in Little League. Oh right yeah. There. Same, same, same glove hand there, just not, yeah. not strong enough to keep it up. Yes. Um, this is with, I was um, probably seven or eight years old here. Yeah, no so, mustache. No mustache. Chase Young draws his third walk in his third game in the major leagues. Two outs, a man on first. That'll bring up Parker Meadows. And that one is laced into left center field. Moving around the bases is Young. Judge picks it up. Young is being waved in. We have a play on the And they holds Young at the plate to end the fifth inning and keep the Tigers off the board. Nice defensive work by the Yankees to nab Young to the sixth inning. Here we go, Juan Soto getting set to come up. Soto, of course, as popular as anybody, maybe not named Judge, but before the game, Adrian Fuentes out of Cuba doing a little Soto shuffle. The kids did, yeah, we'll try it. On Yel Cordero, and there's another little leaguer. Let's see, big inning here, top of the order, third time through, Scoobal. Well, he's frustrated with himself there. He lost Flavor Torres, a leadoff walk here in the sixth. Now you deal with the power of Soto and Judge combined. Could him get down there and own it again, and now the count goes <laughs> three and one. The whole crowd loving what they're seeing. Look at that team behind him. Canada, <laughs> look at the kids in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Inside and danger now for Scoobal, who has walked two, and he acknowledges <laughs> the kids from Canada. Soto just gave a head nod to them. Here's Judge, two on. Hannifer warming in the pen. Hits it on the ground, fielded there. Sweeney to second to first, and they turn the double play against Judge. Infield has been true as Sweeney and Cole Keith turn it. Down there at third base, Glaber Torres. It is a 0-0 game in the top of the sixth inning. And here it comes from third, Torres, the play, he's safe. A great read by Glaber Torres, aggressive, and it is 1-0 Yankees as he came darting in from third on the ball that got by Rodgers. And I'll tell you this, we've seen a lot of this already here in Williamsport in the Little Leagues. A lot of wild pitches. Maybe they've been watching those games alert at third base, and Glaber Heads up, base running right there. Garrett, what, what has been sort of the eye-opening moment for you about this whole thing? I, I think just right when we got off the bus and we walked up to the top of uh, the complex, yep. it was like we were the Beatles. I, it's, I mean, it's been a long time since I've been surrounded by that type of energy. And, uh, and you know, I, I can only imagine how crazy I would have been at 12 years old in that same position too. So, right. you know, I always wanted to make it to Williamsport. It took me a little longer than I wanted to, but I did make it. Derek, thanks so much for doing this. We really appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Thanks for having me. I got the sense from hearing the interviews you had done, you recognized the, sort of the value of what today means to the kids here, but also to the kids at home watching. Here's a easy line shot that's caught. Tell us about your perspective on Little League Baseball. Yeah, I mean, I think it's the foundation of, of baseball. You know, that's kind of where I learned to play the game, not only play the game, but learn to kind of love the game and fall in love with it. So it looked like the Yankees made you work a little bit more the first time through the order. Then you kind of settled in. How would you evaluate your stuff tonight? Yeah, I thought my stuff was fine. Execution probably um, not so good. So, um, you know, I'll get back to, you know, executing pitches and setting my sights and, and really just trusting my stuff and going right after guys but I thought my stuff was fine today I think just execution wise I was a uh, you know four walks is is not characteristic of me that's not how I you know like to pitch I like to get ahead and make guys beat me um, with hits and, and running the ball around the yard you know rather than me kind of giving them a free base I felt good I felt good I think uh, Chavino had a great mix I think we did a good job keeping them off balance um, and yeah I felt like I competed every pitch I think the, all these events that MLB is starting to do, just to, you know, keep the vibe, keep young kids interested. Like I said, being able to have these kids out here in such an intimate setting, be able to watch big leaguers, I think it's special. So something that we need to continue to do. Top of the order, Will Vest, a 29-year-old righty now on for the Detroit Tigers. And Will certainly enjoyed himself earlier today at the complex. He was going down the hill. A handful of them did that. Glaber gone 97 miles an hour into the mitt of Rodgers. Strikeout for Vest as we're in the top of the eighth inning. And back to Juan Soto. And he swings and misses. Good job there by Will Vest as he goes back-to-back -back strikeouts of Torres 
and Juan Soto. Maybe you should tumble down the hill more often. <laughs> There's a big hill to climb, and Aaron Judge swing and a miss. Boy, fast, awfully impressive. He just slid right through the top of the New York Yankees order. The Yankees won Tigers nothing, bottom half of the ninth inning. If the Yanks win, they stay in sole possession of first place. Next up, Cole Keith. That one is towards the line in left. It's going to get down. It's a fair ball. And Keith going to second base. And the tying run out there at second base. He goes the other way with the double. And Keith is aboard. Now Torkelson with a chance. The Tigers two for ten with men on. He got a nasty slider there. Torkelson is gone. And Holmes is an out away with the tying run at second base. And what a spot for this guy, Chase Young. One and one to the rookie Young. He hits this one to left. That's down, base hit. Here comes Keith. The throw home is not in time. And the Tigers tie it up in the bottom of the ninth inning. Wow. Oh, my goodness. What a time for Jace Young. His first major league RBI comes in stellar fashion. LeMahieu will lead things off. Volpe will start at second base. And LeMahieu goes the right side underneath the glove of Keith. And that's going to bring Volpe in. And on one pitch, the Yankees regain the lead on a LeMahieu RBI. His 24th. And it's now the Yankees 2, the Tigers 1. How about that? Zach McKinstry, you see him now stepping into the batter's box. He will pinch hit. A couple of hits yesterday for McKinstry against the Yankees. And the 1 0, he will do the same thing LeMayhu did. An RBI single to start the inning, just like that. We are tied again as Sweeney comes in. AJ Hinch pulls the right card. McKinstry drives in the run. He's at first now with the go ahead and winning run. Parker Meadows. Runner goes. Meadows swings. Throw a little offline and safe at second base. McKinstry gets him now in scoring position. Ryder and Parker Meadows winning run at second. Swings and sends it to left. Dominguez got a good arm. They're going to wave him. A delay on the throw. He is safe. Zach McKinstry delivers the tying run with a single, scores the winning run on a Parker Meadows. Base hit into left. The Tigers walk it off in the Little League Classic in Williamsport. What a night.